the process uh, revolves around the Three Amigos session as documented in, in many books and blog posts. That's also known as a discovery workshop. And at that workshop, uh, what we expect, we expect to see a product owner or customer uh, talking with testers and developers where the, the understanding of what the requirements are, the understanding of what the user story uh, actually means is challenged through the use uh, and creation of concrete examples. So this is the testers and developers coming up with uh, examples of how the system is supposed to behave uh, and essentially saying to the product owner or the customer, in this situation, is it supposed to do this or is it supposed to do that? Um, and this basically allows the developers and the testers to reassure themselves that they really do understand what the customer is asking for. Uh, and it also enables them to challenge the, uh, the product owner and the customer uh, to, to uncover hidden assumptions that hadn't been communicated um, before that. At the end of a Three Amigos session, therefore, we will have a set of uh, examples, concrete examples that illustrate the rules, the acceptance criteria, that the customer expects to be satisfied when that story gets delivered. And those examples can be used as the basis of a set of automated tests that drive out the implementation of the application. Now, Cucumber comes in at this point because Cucumber is able to read Gherkin feature files, a structure that we'll look at uh, shortly, and use those feature files to drive uh, the application as it's being developed. So this is uh, akin to test-driven development, although in this case, of course, it's called behavior-driven development.